Hey, what's up you guys? So it's Courtney Fierce here or Vanilla Pivon Sweets and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I am obviously doing a Vanilla P. Von Sweets makeup tutorial. I'm very excited about it. If you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, then definitely stay tuned. Let's just start this tutorial. Um, so I already have my mascara and foundation and concealer on, but first I'm going to start out with the brows. I decided just to get that done just because Vanellope really doesn't like do anything with her skin. She's still like a little girl. So yeah, I just decided to skip that. So actually, instead of doing the brows, I'm going to do blush first. I am using the color Coralina 08 by Milani and it's one of their baked blushes. It's such a pretty color and I felt like it would just be good just for like her really red rosy cheeks. There is somebody screaming in the hallway of her apartment so that's fun. And she's got very 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 red cheeks right here. I'll insert a picture of her right here. So I'm just gonna bring that up and in. I'm almost gonna do more like like a Korean or Japanese kind of like makeup technique where you bring in the color like right here, right beside the nose. Cause then that just makes your cheeks look a little bit fuller and a little bit more cutesy. And you just wanna smile. So this is my third Halloween series video. And like, I don't know if anybody else who like films YouTube like has this issue, but do you ever have like days where you just literally don't feel like filming? Because that's what today is for me. It's just one of those days. Like I love vanilla P, but like I'm just not here with it today. And you want like a super red nose because her nose is super like almost blushy. And you know, you just wanna look like your candy self. So hopefully you guys have been liking my Halloween series. I've been putting a lot of work into them recently. I just really love Halloween and same for like, I'm doing Vlogsmas um, in December. Um, I hope that everyone's excited for that because Christmas and Halloween are literally two of my favorite times of the year. Let's do the brows. So she has very thick brows. So I'm just going to take an essence pencil. This is in the shade 02 Brown and I'm going to fill them in. This is like literally the darkest brow product that I had. So I don't know. I'll just try doing it like this. And if you guys can't see it, then I'll just cut it out. So now that I'm finally done the eyebrows, I'm going to move into the eyeshadow. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do yet because again, she's like a little kid. She doesn't really wear much makeup in the picture. So I might just do maybe like a pink lid. So I guess I'm going to use the shadow from MAC Cosmetics. It's called Free To Be. It's like a nice rosy pink and I'm just going to take it on like a fluffy blending brush. And I already had primed my eyelids too. Ralph. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just gonna take this all over the crease and all over the lid. Just to give you like a little wash of color. I thought about doing like a candy cane liner for her, but then I realized like that's not very her. Like that's very 2018 and mind you she is still a young girl so she doesn't wear all that much makeup and this pink I find is just gonna like open up the eyes just a little bit and I'm just gonna bring that right underneath the eye too Now I was thinking too, while I was doing my brows, 
what would make this look more cutesy? And then it hit me. I can take this pencil and do like little tiny freckles just right up here. And just like give me just like that overall like really cutesy like look. So let's see. I've never actually done freckles before either, so this should be interesting. I'm just gonna go in and I'm just going to just kind of like place my finger over it making them just a little bit lighter kind of blending it into the skin so I got some cutesy little freckles and I'm basically done with the makeup I'm just gonna take a little bit of gloss on my lips I'm using Too Faced Fairy Tears I actually bought this lip gloss because it reminded me of Fairy Tale Zero. That shit is sad. I just finished it the other day. We're just gonna take this all over the lips. It's just gonna create like a pink, kind of like holographic. I don't really know how I feel about this applicator. It's the first time that I'm using it. It's a little bit big in my opinion, but. There, that's creating the pink holographic look. Okay, I'm going to now take licorice because she has licorice as her ponytail elastic holder. And I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I finally put the licorice in my hair. It took like a minute or two to put it in, but it's cute. Hopefully you can see it. You can barely even see it when I have my head back, but whatever. So this is the finished makeup look for Vanellope Von Schweetz. I'm very excited. Like this is something that I've really wanted to be for a very long time since I first seen the first movie. I'm so excited for the second movie to come out in November. So maybe I'll do a part two, maybe as her with her princess look. I haven't quite seen everything yet, but maybe after the movie, maybe I'll be inspired to do another Vanellope Von Schweetz makeup tutorial. So, um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below to become a part of the Fierce family, and I will see you guys all later. I love you guys all so much. Bye. Ralph.